GameRanks presents 10 things considered taboo by some gamers. Yes, there are some things out there in video game land that are just too crazy or disgraceful, and gamers don't even want to talk about them. So let's get started with number 10. There's this thought process out there that you can't say anything bad about an old school game. It's almost kind of assumed that a great classic game is automatically better than any current games. It seems like there's a little bit of a bias towards classic games because of nostalgia. And that's a shame because all old school games are considered flawless, but they definitely shouldn't be immune to criticism. Because, I mean, have you gone back and played some old Super Nintendo or Nintendo games? Some of them aren't pretty. Some of them aren't fun, and they were never fun. Just because they have cool 8-bit graphics doesn't make them a better game. And at number 9, we have Backseat Gaming. Yeah, we all like to hang out and play video games with each other. Sometimes two friends will pair up and take turns as they play through a single-player campaign. But I know what myself and many other people can't stand is when someone you're sitting next to tries to talk you through the game and give you advice. Just shut up and let me play. Nothing's more frustrating than getting your ass handed to you in a game a million times and then have your friend telling you you're doing it wrong, when he or she doesn't even have a controller in their hand. Shut the hell up and let me play. Especially during Dark Souls. Never ever give some backseat gaming advice during Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> At number 8, a lot of gamers feel like they can't say anything bad about Valve or Gabe Newell. Yes, now all of us PC gamers praise Lord Gaben day and night. Hell, I'm even guilty of offering Lord Gaben a blood sacrifice. But that doesn't mean he's perfect, and it definitely doesn't mean Steam is perfect. If anything, we should be criticizing the hell out of Steam because we want it to be the best it can absolutely be. You know, there's been some issues with Steam Greenlight, and even the refund process isn't perfect. And I think gamers owe it to themselves to speak up about these problems, because they sure as hell speak up about every other problem in video games. So definitely don't be afraid to stick it to Steam and Gabe Newell a little bit, and get what you want with these services. At number 7, you know what's really taboo? Supporting microtransactions. Yeesh. Just, just don't do it. Especially if it's console crap, and don't buy that gun. Just don't engage in any microtransactions that are designed to just simply take all your money. Yeah, some PC games like Team Fortress and League of Legends have flourished with free-to-play microtransactions, but for the most part, microtransactions and all that DLC bullshit is garbage. And a lot of people who play video games would probably like to never hear the word downloadable content or microtransactions ever again. Just give me all the content in the game on the disc. You know, we've been through this for like five or six years now. And at number 6, what's really taboo for some MMO players is buying gold in MMORPGs. Some MMO communities really frown upon using cash to buy in-game currency that boosts your gold in the game. Now some MMOs have this whole pay for gold system balanced much better than others, but ultimately when you're paying to get past the grind, that's kind of frowned upon because honestly, MMOs are about the grind. And if you sign up for one and you try and just surpass all the grind, what are you doing? At number 5, this is definitely taboo, but for me personally, it's just a huge pet peeve. Neglecting game discs. Oh god! Oh, putting them face down on a table with the surface just exposed to the actual table or, or just not putting the games in the right box. That drives me nuts. No, don't put my Grand Theft Auto 5 in the Man of Steel Blu-ray case. Nothing drives some people crazier who play video games and collect them than the mishandling of discs, whether it's how you hold them, or if you put your fingerprints on the shiny part of the disc, or if you put them face down, or if you just don't organize them. Take a little pride in your video game discs. They hold all the information and all the access to the magical world of the game you're about to play. So maybe don't abuse them. At number 4, what's taboo for some gamers is even the idea of playing Clash of Clans. Yes, Clash of Clans by many is considered a noob free-to-play mobile game, and nothing more. That being said, as someone who plays video games, I like to think there's a happy medium between playing hardcore games and playing some casual mobile games on the side. But it's generally considered if you're just someone who has an iPad and plays Clash of Clans and that's about it, you're not really a gamer. Of course, that can be argued because the person is playing video games, but apparently Clash of Clans is just not hardcore enough. But ultimately, does it really matter? Can't we all just get along? Casual gamers and hardcore gamers need to reach some kind of compromise. Maybe you hardcore guys should ease off on them. Because I mean, if you think about it, casual games maybe get people into more hardcore games. So if they're playing casual games, good because maybe it can be a gateway into playing more awesome games. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, that sounds like a win for everybody. At number three, what is taboo for some gamers, probably a 50-50 split, is the buying Call of Duty every year thing. Yes, of course, Call of Duty is an annual release like many other games, but some groups of gamers frown upon other groups of gamers that just play Call of Duty all the time. And you know, I think I fall somewhere in the middle, but I definitely know where both sides are coming from. Call of Duty has a huge audience from hardcore to casual, so it's definitely gonna be a divided one. And for some gamers, this is definitely taboo, the act of buying them every year, because honestly, most of the time, to many players of games, there aren't enough changes in the yearly 
updates to warrant spending another 60 bucks. Some players just feel like it's a ripoff. Myself personally, I like to experience all the single player campaigns, but then again, I'm a weirdo. Call of Duty and just some other yearly franchises as well are often just glanced over by many gamers because it always just feels like a rushed attempt to get out a new game every year. And at number two, a taboo that is very common with one type of gamers is the idea of playing a PC first person shooter with a controller. The PC crowd really frowns upon that. Don't do that. Why would you ever use a controller for something like Counter-Strike? It's crazy. On a console, it's one thing because a controller is really your only alternative. But with a PC, the precision of a PC and mouse is really unparalleled. So to deny that is pretty silly. I'm sure there are actually a lot of people out there who don't admit it that sometimes they might play a PC game with a controller. It's a small point and a very specific one, but it's one that PC gamers feel very strong. About. And speaking of PC gaming feuds, we're down to number one with the idea of gaming on a Mac. Ew. Apple Mac computers are just not hardcore enough to play any games on, right? Well, to some people, a Mac machine is just not capable of enough customization to get the most out of their game, so some players don't even want to bother with them. But then again, on the other hand, for some players, you know, maybe they just have a MacBook and they want to play some indie games. A lot of these indie games run very well on lower end Mac computers. So this is another 50 50 one of a house divided. Honestly, at the end of the day, people are going to play games on whatever they're going to want to play and you know what? we're all going to criticize and make fun of each other for it because hey that's freedom of speech so guys those were 10 things considered taboo by some gamers yeah i like to think we covered everything from dlc to microtransactions to yearly franchises to playing games on mac and to how you play games with friends on a couch there's lots of weird feelings about games out there and the taboos within this culture so we definitely want to hear from you guys down in the comments what taboos do you and your friends have about video games is there something in video games you just want to ignore or not talk about or never even want to bother with definitely let us know and if you did have a good time watching this video click the like button because that's the best way you can help us out but really the best thing you can do if you're new is subscribe because we put out videos every single day but as always thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time